America's Got Talent host Mel B is in the midst of a contentious divorce, alleging her estranged husband was, among other things, abusive, and his former living girlfriend backs her up. Nicole Contreras told me exclusively that she, too, experienced some of the same behavior. America's Got Talent judge Mel B is making disturbing claims against her estranged husband. In a lawsuit, she says Stefan Belafonte beat her and forced her to take part in threesomes with random women, allegations that Belafonte denies as false and outrageous. Now his ex-girlfriend and the mother of his 12-year-old daughter Giselle is coming forward and says she believes Mel B. Hi, Nicole Contreras, a realtor featured on the HGTV show Selling L.A., was a 25-year-old swimsuit model when she met Stefan Belafonte in the year 2000. In the beginning, it was very exciting. We were on top of the world. He was unstoppable. He was lovable, you know, outgoing, charmer. But there was one red flag, his last name. His name's not really Belafonte. Correct. So what's his name? Stansberry. Did you know that? I didn't know that until many years later. And he selected the name Belafonte for what reason? I would assume because of his appearance to Harry Belafonte. Did he allow you to just assume that he was related to Harry Belafonte? He definitely did, especially when I first met him. Was he ever physically violent with you? He was physically violent, I would say, more towards the end of our relationship. What happened? He grabbed my phone and he smashed it and he threw me up against a wall and, you know, had me pinned against the wall. And, you know, I was, of course, very fearful. I mean, I, you know, I get the chills just talking about it now. Belafonte was arrested for domestic battery, according to court documents. He pled no contest and was ordered to attend anger management classes. Contreras' experience echoes what Mel B claims in court papers, including claims that Belafonte placed both of his hands around my neck and began choking me. He then slammed me down onto the hardwood floor. The allegations she makes mm -hmm. are very specific. He insisted on three-way sexual experiences and that she was on the receiving end of multiple physical assaults. Mm -hmm. When you read that, did any of it sound eerily familiar to you? A lot of it did, especially the part about him verbally abusing her and um, the controlling issues. Fortunately for me, the threesome and the sex things never happened. Uh, hey guys, Mel B also there? claims that Belafonte had an affair with their nanny, 26-year-old Lorraine Gillis, and that he got her pregnant. The nanny denies those claims and has sued Mel B for defamation. She's a dead ringer for you. Do you think that that happened? I, I don't doubt it. I remember when I first saw her, I thought like, wow, I even made a comment to my friend like, Wow, you should see their nanny. She's really a knockout. And, you know, I wouldn't consider hiring a nanny like that. Contreras says she left Belafonte after giving birth to their daughter. I enjoyed it. <laughs> Not long thereafter, she I says she learned that Belafonte had moved on to Mel B. I was very, you know, selfishly happy because I just thought, perfect, here's this woman. She's financially stable. He'll move into her world and just get out of ours. Do you regret you didn't call Mel? at the beginning of her relationship with Stefan? I do feel some guilt, but I don't know if she would have even listened. Stefan Belafonte is now claiming Nicole Contreras tried to extort him for up to a million dollars to stay quiet. Tomorrow, she addresses those allegations.